just can't get this icing to cooperate with me. Look, it's runny. It's not supposed to be like this, and I have no idea what I've done wrong. You know, I have so much to do today. I do not have time for this to be happening to me right now. Oh. There's just no use. Look, look, look. Oh, Lord, I just need to forget about this. I'm never going to be ready on time. There's no way. Oh, I can't give up. Okay, Lord, I ask that you give me patience. Lots and lots and lots of patience. Because with this icing today, I'm going to need it. <laughs> oh, please, God. Look at it. Oh, my. Oh, and look at the time. Mrs. Tiller's going to be here any minute, and I'm never going to be ready. <sighs> I don't know. I think, boys and girls, you'll just have to stay around for this one, and we'll have to learn about patience together. <sighs> oh, Carl, Carl. Let's get all our friends, cause it's that time again. It's time to head on down to Miss Charity's Diner. Dusty's gonna come along, and we'll see Farmer Shalom. It's time to have some fun at Miss Charity's Diner. Take Constable Howie by the hand, Sue Josiah, Mr. Dan. Another special day is coming our way at Miss Charity's Diner, Mr. Mr. Bookworm's gonna be there too. More things to learn, more things to do at Miss Charity's Diner. Carl's got his apron on. Mr. Marty's singing a song. Everybody come along to Miss Charity's Diner. Come on, let the fun begin. Cause it's that time again. Happy day with all our friends at Miss Charity's Diner. Nothing could be finer than to spend some time at Miss Charity's Diner. I could sure use a couple extra pairs of hands. What's the matter, Miss Charity? Oh, I don't have enough time. Mrs. Tiller's going to be here any minute to pick up this cake. I still don't have icing on it, and I can't get the icing to thicken up. Of all the time... Oh, great, great. Don't worry, Miss Charity. I'll get it for you. Oh, thank you, Kayla. You're an angel. I'll go to the kitchen and ask Carl for a clean spoon for you. Okay. Of all the days for things to go wrong, why couldn't it just be some other day? Oh. Oh. Here you go, Miss Charity. Why me? Why does this have to be happening to me? Miss Charity, what you need is a little more patience. I don't need a little patience. I need a lot more patience. Oh, and great. Now the phone, too. This is all I need. You just keep stirring, Miss Charity, and I'll get the phone. Oh, thanks, Nathana. How's it coming, Miss Charity? How's it coming? It's not coming. Oh, God, if you have any bright ideas, now would be a really good time to let me know. That was Miss Tiller, Miss Charity. She's running a little late, and it will be a while before she gets here. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. See? Thank you, God, for small miracles. Miss Charity, I just thought of something. Yeah, and if you'll just be a little patient, we'll be right back. If I'll just be a little patient? Listen, while you're out, if patient comes in cans, buy me a truckload, and then I'll have patient. Calm down, Miss Charity. I have a pain that just might work. Great. Just what I need, a plan that just might work. What are you doing down there? You're pacing around like a tiger. What's going on? Oh, farmer. Oh, 
Well, what's taking Charity so long? She should have been here by now. What do you mean? What, what do you, what, you... You better slow down. You're going to wear your paws out. Oh, oh, it's just taking way too, too long. Oh. What, what's taking so long? My what treat. You, your That's treat. That's my treat. M Miss Charity's bringing you a treat? Yeah, she's supposed to be bringing it by now. It, I don't know. Oh, I'm just not sure now. What, 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 is, what is she bringing you? A fresh loaf of baked bread. Mm. Oh, I can, you can smell it, hey? Well, you're just going to have to wait a little bit. Oh, I bet I need it. I'm starving. Well, it takes a while. You don't just get bread, like, you know, in a, in a half hour. So, I mean, you got to knead it. But you, I do need it. I'm starving. I don't mean knead it. You have to knead it. You have to wait for the for the yeast to rise. It's I wish my belly was rising. <laughs> Dusty, you're just gonna have to be patient. Okay, let's call her, please. No, no, we can't phone her. Farmer, can you pray for patience? Y yes, we can pray that God will help you. Why don't you do that? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Dear God, please help me right now for patience. Amen. No, no, not like that. Come on, you know better than that. Sure, it's easy for you to say you're not the one. Oh, 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 waiting for the treat, farmer. Yeah. You have lots of patience. Well, you know, I try to have patience. I mean, I am a farmer. I have to have patience. But well, well, why? Well, I got to put the seed in the ground, and and I have to wait for that seed to grow into into the crop, whatever it happens to be. And and this little kitty here. I mean, I have to wait for this kitty to grow up. He doesn't just chase the mice out of the barn right out of the gate like that. I got to wait for him to grow up. That takes time. Oh, I, I get it. When you have patience, you have, you have to wait and wait and wait and, and then wait. Oh, Dusty, it's not that bad. Come on. It is when you're hungry. Oh. Come on. You know what? Why don't we just think of something else to do? Take your mind off the bread. Ooh. We could chase the cat around the barn. No, we're not chasing yeah. the cat around the barn. Don't okay. be silly. Well, we'll chase the kitty around then. No, we're not chasing the kitty. Yeah, let's play phone. We'll phone Charity. Just kind of play with them. Maybe he can drink some of your water. What do you say about that? Huh? I'd rather have that treat. Even the cat wants some. I don't think I'm going to give her any, though. She can, she can have, yeah, my leftover oh, doggy treat. Oh, really? You're not going to give her any? Well, maybe we should be doing a show on sharing, huh? Hmm. Look at how cute he is. Okay. He kind of reminds me of you when you were a little cute little puppy. You guys had nice little big eyes like that. I don't remember. I do. Wasn't that long ago? I don't remember. I did. It wasn't that long ago. I don't remember. To be patient, it's what I'm gonna be. To be patient, it will set you free. To be patient, it's what I'm gonna do. To be patient. To show that I love you Oh Lord Help us to be patient We know It'll bring us peace Oh Lord Help us to be patient Oh Lord When we're in line with groceries Oh Lord Help us to be patient joy. Oh Lord, help us to be patient. Oh Lord, and we just might get that joy. Oh Lord, help us to be patient. Oh Lord, when our friends mess up. Oh Lord, help us to be patient. To show them love and not give up. Practice every day to be patient. It's the loving way to be patient. Is what I want to do to be patient. To show that I love you.
Hi, my name is Abby. I've come down here to Miss Charity's Diner to tell you about Miss Charity's Kids Club website. When you're a member, it's really awesome. You can email any of the characters like Miss Charity, Mr. Stan, and even Josiah and Sule. When you go to the website, you will see all of Miss Charity Diner's episodes for life. You could even get a birthday card from Miss Charity when it's your birthday. There are a whole sorts of neat things to do at Miss Charity Diner's Kids Club website, and all you have to do is go to www.facebook.com and make sure it's okay with your mom or dad and tell them Abby sent you. Remember the website is www.facefield.com. Hi girls, what's in the bag? A small miracle? Well, it's miracles come in bags of icing sugar. Here's your miracle. Icing sugar? How's that gonna help? Well, Miss Charity, when our mom makes icing and it's too thin, she just adds a little bit more of icing sugar to it. Try it, Miss Charity. Okay. Well, I'll be. Why didn't I think of this? Is it working? Is it working? If patience comes in small bags, you two have just bought me a lifetime supply. Look it, it's absolutely perfect. Thank you so much, girls. I couldn't have done this without you. You're welcome. You're welcome. How about a piece of cake for yourselves? My treat. Yes. Mm -hmm. Making me dizzy. No! No, 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 no. Try again. I know. You're lost and you need direction. No. Be serious. Come on. Try again, will ya? Um, you lost your stinger and you can't find it anywhere. You're not sure which way is up. Is it to the left? Or is it to the right? No. Honestly, you guys, you're unbelievable. Keep guessing. You're mad as a hornet because somebody stole your honey? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I don't care about what Mr. B is doing. I need to go lie down for a while. Oh, make the room stop spinning somebody. Unbelievable! I've been flying around here with my twin burners all day. I'm trying to be and get the title of Mr. Beehive. Can't you tell? So what do you think my chances are? I think your chances are about as good as Gordy's that... Why don't I just tell you that story? Girls and boys at home, would you like to hear that story? Wow! Where'd you get the big muscles? Gordy asked Mr. Dan. Well, I've been building houses a really long time, Mr. Dan said. And I eat all my vegetables and I exercise regularly. Oh, you see, Gordy and Chucky were outside with Mr. Dan. He was, out, he was there putting an addition on their house and they were more than glad to take him out a glass of lemonade. How could I have big muscles like you, Mr. Dan? Gordy asked. Oh, that's easy, he said. Eat all your vegetables, exercise, and have lots and lots of patience. Oh, that sounded easy. That night at supper, Gordy said to his mom, Mom, may, may I have more green beans, please, and more salad and carrots and tomatoes? Um, sure, she said. And oh, Mom, the next time you go to the grocery store, will you buy lots and lots of cans of patience? <laughs> Cordy, what? 
What's so funny? Gordy said to his mom and dad. Well, Gordy, his dad said, you can't buy patients in cans at the grocery store like that. You have to develop them and, and earn them. It takes time. Yeah, Chucky said, like when you take our pictures and then we wait and wait for Mom to take them to the store to be developed. And then we wait and wait and wait, Dad, until you go and pick them up. Um, yeah, something like that, their dad said. Or when we plant corn in the garden and we put the seeds in the ground and we water it and then we wait for the corn to come up. So if I take really good care of my body and I eat my vegetables and I exercise and I have lots and lots of patience, how long will it take to develop my muscles to be big like Mr. Dan's? Gordy asked. Years, his dad said. Years, Gordy said. Man, I think I'll be a fireman instead. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if patients did come in cans like Gordy thought it did, Miss Geranium? No, I don't think so. Uh -huh. Some things are worth waiting for. Oh, like eating all your supper so you can have ice cream for dessert? Something like that. Actually, patience does come in can-dos. Oh, like I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me? That's absolutely right. Why, I can see your spiritual muscles getting bigger already. Well, I'm glad somebody noticed. <laughs> This is going to take forever. I'm so hungry. Oh, I know. I wonder how much longer he's going to be. Oh. Hey, you two, what's the problem? Well, Mr. Stan, you said you'd make us a Sunday. Well, that's only half the truth, Josiah. I said I'd make a Sunday after I was done putting away my stuff. Why couldn't Miss Charity make our Sunday? Yeah! Miss Charity had to run some errands. You two know that. I'm sure I heard her tell you. But we've been waiting forever! And ever and ever and ever. Yeah, now, even Don't you longer. two think that you're exaggerating just a little bit? No. What happened to your patients? If that means that I have to wait, then I don't want any patients. Yeah! Patience can't be much fun, because my mom says I have to have patience all the time. <laughs> yeah, so does my mom. Yeah. Mr. Stan, are you done yet? Not yet. Oh, how much longer? Well, if I have to keep stopping to answer all your questions, it's going to take me a little longer than I thought. Oh, but my stomach is yelling for a Sunday. In fact, I think I'm in pain now because oh. I have to wait so long. I don't think I've ever heard of ice cream sundae waiting sickness before. Oh, she's fading fast, Mr. Stan. Very fast. Psst. I, I see my life before my eyes. Oh, I wonder where my daddy is. I sure hope he didn't forget that he was supposed to pick me up here today. Rebecca, are you waiting for somebody? Oh, hi. I'm waiting for my daddy. He's supposed to pick me up here today. We're supposed to spend the whole day together, just me and him. Wow. Do you mind if I sit here and wait with you until he comes? No. Nope. You know, Rebecca, what I really, really hate? No, what? I really, really, really hate waiting for someone to pick me up. I always think they forgot me, and then I get fidgety and, and nervous, and, and I start to sweat. Really? Yes, and you know what I do after that? What? Well, first I pray, and I ask God to give me patience, and then I start thinking of something I can do while I'm waiting. Oh, Constable Holly, what kind of game can you play when you're sitting on a bench? You can play counting games. Just look around. There's all kinds of things to count, like the bricks on the sidewalk or, or the panels on Miss Charity's diner. Just use your imagination. My imagination? Do, do you see that cloud over there? 
Yeah. Now look real close. Doesn't that look like a rabbit? Yeah, I guess so. Kind of looks like a rabbit hopping about in a field. <sighs> Rebecca, look closer. It looks more like a rabbit eating a carrot to me. And look over there, Constable Howie. That one looks like an elephant. See the trunk and the big floppy ears? Hmm. It does look like an elephant. And you know what else I see? What? I see your daddy's car driving this way. Wow, you got a really good imagination. I don't see my dad, but I see behind that elephant a big fluffy cow. It kind of looks like a kamba or a giant marshmallow. Rebecca, get your head out of the clouds. Isn't that your daddy's car coming up the street? I think that is my daddy's car. He didn't forget about me. No, he didn't forget you. Maybe he just got stuck in the traffic, or maybe he just running a little late. Oh, thanks for waiting here with me, Consby, and thanks for teaching me how to pray for patience. I can't wait to tell my daddy about the cloud game. Have a good day. Daddy, Daddy, Constable Howie is so cool. He taught me how to pray for patience. Hello, my name is Tom Collins, producer of Faithville and Miss Charity's Diner. We're hearing from you that you're learning and enjoying our programs, and that's wonderful. You can learn more about us at our website. We're a worldwide nonprofit media ministry that depends upon your prayers and support. We need your donations to continue our good work, and your donation is tax deductible. You can go online to make your donation on our website at faithville.com now. Or you can mail your check payable to Faithville, Box 7, Maidstone, Ontario, Canada, N0R1K0, or Box 441-665, Detroit, Michigan, USA, 48244. Or you can call to donate by credit card to Faithville at 1-888-450-1111. Thank you for helping Faithville and Miss Charity's Diner bring the good news of Jesus to children in your community and around the world. Oh boy, it's gonna be Sunday before we get ice cream. What day is it? Oh, I don't know. Ugh. I'm telling you, and it's so hot in here. Yeah, an ice cream right about now would do the trick. I see. Mr. Stan? Yes, Sue Are you mad at us? Well, I wouldn't say that I'm mad, but I am a little bit disappointed. Oh, why? Because we weren't patient. <laughs> yeah. You know, when we demand our own way, Josiah, it usually makes things more difficult for someone else. And in this case, it's making it harder for me to get my work done because I had to stop and answer all your questions. Oh, so that's why having patience is so important, I guess. Without patience, we're kind of selfish. That's right. Oh. Not being patient is selfish. Oh. Hmm. Oh. And, and we hurt other people when we're selfish. And we hurt ourselves too, Josiah. God is always patient, isn't he, Mr. Stan? Oh, God is always very patient with us. God probably wants us to be patient with each other. Yeah, I think that would make God very happy. I'm sorry, Mr. Stan. I'm sorry, too. I'm double sorry, though. Why? Now, why are you double sorry, Sue Lin? Well, I really wasn't sick from <laughs> waiting. I you figured what? you weren't really sick. No, I wasn't. And now, I'm done all my work. So it's Sunday time. <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Hey! Yeah. We're finally going to get some ice cream. Yeah, I have this strawberry. Is cool. Strawberry? Yeah! I thought we agreed on vanilla. No, I changed my mind. I want strawberry. Uh, Josiah, you what? always do this to me. I don't always do anything. Yes, you do. No way. Yeah. You do not. Uh. What's that? Oh, goodness. Look at the two of us. 
We're sleeping on the job. <sighs> this patient stuff sure is tiring. <sighs> Don't remind me, please. Ugh, when I started praying for patients, Carl, I forgot how we get patients. Yeah, what was that again? Oh, the trying of our faith works patience. I still don't understand that. Well, Carl, um, well, it means that we learn patience through the difficult things that happen to us. There should be an easier way, you'd think. <laughs> I have to agree with you, Carl, but God does know what's best. <laughs> you know, I've learned today that I can be patient and keep my good mood even when things aren't going right. Oh. Or I can get grumpy and snap at people and get really, really ti tired. <sighs> Being grumpy really does make you feel tired. Mm hmm. Let's clean this place up, Carl. Uh, let's just be patient. <laughs> Carl, you are too funny. But seriously, I really did learn a lesson today. You know, being worried and upset doesn't change anything for the good, and it doesn't make things happen any faster either. It sure didn't. And you're right. You were crabby. <gasps> you were crabby too. I was only crabby because you were crabby. Oh, no, you don't, Carl. You're not going to blame me for your bad mood. We both learned a lesson in patience today. Yeah. I learned the next time you're crabby, I'll be patient with you. <laughs> You are just too much, Carl. But I love you anyway. Aw, oh, Miss Charity, you're going to make me blush and all that stupid stuff. Well, Carl, it'll just be another reason for you to be patient with me. Uh, mm -hmm. this patient stuff isn't easy. <laughs> Come on, Carl. Let's get this place cleaned up. Tomorrow morning, those children are going to be coming in bright and early. Uh, let's teach them patience and, and not open up tomorrow. <laughs> Nice try. Come on, let's go. We have lots of cleaning to do.